Hey, it's Justin Brown here from Primal Video. Recently, we did a video explaining the best video editing apps available for iOS devices. Now, for editing on an iPad or an iPhone, the apps have really come an insanely long way and you can now get some really great results right from the devices that you typically carry with you. So from testing a huge range of apps, my recommendations were iMovie and Pinnacle. In this video, we're gonna dive a little deeper into Pinnacle on iOS and run through exactly how to edit your videos and get great results using Pinnacle. Now this video isn't gonna be a full review. It's also not gonna cover every feature and every tool that's available in the app. We're gonna be running through a full editing process end to end, covering everything you need to know to get you editing fast and get great results using your iOS device. We'll have a similar video coming out soon for iMovie on iOS and I'll link it up in the cards. Okay, before we jump in, we're gonna be following through the primal video method. It's the most efficient editing process to eliminate any rework or wasted time while you're editing your videos. We did a video on this a while back, but if you haven't seen it yet, you can download the PDF here to help you with your videos. The first thing to do when you open up Pinnacle is to create a new project. So just hit the plus button and give your project a name. Okay, so this is the Pinnacle Studio interface. In the bottom, you've got your timeline. In the top right corner, you've got your playback monitor. And in the top left corner, you've got your editing controls for things like importing footage, adding titles, or adding effects. So the first step is to import your video files. So we're gonna navigate through your files to find the video clips that you wanna import. Now this is your primary video footage, no additional graphics or B-roll at this point. So once you've found your files, hit the button, that's the big down arrow, and that'll drop it down into your timeline. So now that your video files are in your timeline, the first step is to start refining your video files by removing anything that you definitely don't want in your end video product. We'll start by trimming down the start and the finish of this clip. So we just tap on the clip and down the bottom, you'll see a yellow handle. If you just tap and drag on that, that will allow you to adjust the start point of this video clip. So we'll take that through to just before I start talking. And we'll do exactly the same at the end of our video. So we tap on the clip to make sure it's selected. We grab that yellow handle down the bottom and we drag back towards the left until we're at the point where I've finished talking and where we want our video to end. The next step is to go back through your footage and remove anything else that you don't want in there. So if it's multiple takes of a sentence or a paragraph, or if you've got any mistakes in there, this is when we'll take them out. So let's pretend that this is a mistake here that we wanna take out. We just tap on the clip, we select the little razor blade button, and then we press video, and that'll split our clip in two. So now we just come across a bit further to where we wanna add another cut. Again, make sure our clip is selected, hit that little razor blade button, and then select video. So now you can see that we've got three clips there in the timeline. So we can easily delete that clip in the middle if we wanna remove it. We just make sure our clip is selected and we hit the delete button, which is a little trash can. So that's how easy it is to remove a section of your video. So we'll just undo that now. So just like any other clip, if we select this clip, we also get those handles down the bottom so we can adjust the in and out points or the start and finish points for that little video clip. So this allows you to have so much control over your editing. So in this process, we're just going through and removing everything that we definitely don't want to have in our end video product. You also have the ability to pick up and move clips around just by tapping and holding on them and dragging them into the new location where you want them. You can easily navigate around your timeline and around your video project by pinching to zoom, to zoom in and out as you would with a photo, or you can just tap and slide left or right to move left or right in your timeline. The next step is to add in any music files. So press on the music button on the left, navigate through and select your music files, and hit the down arrow button to drop it down into your timeline. So your audio and music files behave exactly the same as your video files. You have the ability to tap on them and split them in two. You can also refine the start and the end times to trim them down. You can also pick them up and move them around to where you want them. Now, if you wanna add in any B-roll footage, go up and select the folder icon, navigate through to your B-roll footage, select on your footage and drag it down on the timeline to the video clip that you want this to sit on top of. Then select picture in picture. So what this has done is it's dropped your B-roll clip on top of the video clip. From here, you can move around and you can scale up your B-roll to either be full screen or to leave it as a picture in picture effect. So we'll just undo that now. 
The next step is to add in any titles or graphics. So here's how you add in a title. So we come up to the title tool and you can see that there's a heap of templates there to choose from. Obviously the motion titles are the animated titles and standard titles are just static text. So if we just tap on a title, then you can see what it's gonna look like. So pick your title, tap on it and hold down and drag it down onto the video clip that you want it to appear on top of. And then choose composite. So now you can see that our text is dropped on top of that video layer. So to edit the text, you just tap on the text and type in the new title that you want. Now when we play this back, you'll see that the text is animated in, but the video layer is paused behind it. Now this is because this effect needs to be rendered in order to play back properly. So you can see when you're playing this back, you get the little message that pops up on your screen that says, tap here to render for accurate preview. If you tap that, it'll do a quick render of that clip and then it will play back properly. Now you really don't need to go through and render all your clips or all your effects because it's actually done at the end when you're saving your video out. So once you've got all your graphics and titles in, if you wanna add any transitions between your edits, you can do that now. Normally on a video like this, I wouldn't be adding too many transitions or effects in, but if you wanna add any transitions in, you just come over and select transitions, pick the transition that you want, and then drag it down onto your timeline between the two clips where you wanna add the transition. So you can see we've just added a simple fade between these two clips. I'll just undo that now. Now it's time to adjust your audio levels. Now this is where Pinnacle really stands out. It actually gives you the ability to edit your audios on a track level instead of on a individual clip level. So what this means is in one place, you can adjust the entire volume for all of your music instead of having to click on each individual clip and adjust your audio that way. So that's a massive time saver. So just click the audio mixer button and you can see that you've got the ability to edit the volumes for all of the tracks in your video. Now to take this one step further, you also have the ability to adjust the volumes of your tracks while you're playing back your video. So you can actually see in real time how loud a track or an individual clip is and adjust the volume while the video is playing back. If you do want to adjust the volume on an individual clip, then you can just double tap on the clip that you want to change and you've got your volume slider there. You've also got the ability to turn on an audio fade in and an audio fade out for those clips as well. So because we've got our music track selected, we'll add a fade out to that. So at the end of our video, our music fades out and we'll add one to the start as well. So we just double tap on our clip and then we just adjust the slider for fade in to the length of the fade that we want. Just one important thing that I need to mention is that Pinnacle Studio doesn't have any ability to color correct your clips, either on an individual clip or on a full track basis. Currently, there is no color correction in Pinnacle Studio. So if this is something that's important to you and you're gonna be sharing your videos to YouTube, then you can actually use the YouTube video editor once your video files are uploaded and tweak your colors in there. Now that you've finished editing your video, you can share your video using the share button in the top right corner. From here, you can save it out to your own device by selecting photos. You also have the ability to go straight to YouTube, Facebook, Box, Vimeo, Dropbox, Google Drive, OneDrive. There's a ton of options there. You can also export your entire project that you've just worked on to cloud storage like iTunes, like Box, Dropbox, Google Drive, or OneDrive so that you can either edit on another iPhone or another iPad or on a Windows computer using Pinnacle Studio. You also have the option to export just the audio from the video that you've just finished editing. If you found this video helpful, we'd really appreciate a share, a thumbs up, and don't forget to hit that big subscribe button. If you haven't downloaded it yet, make sure you grab our free guide running through the most efficient step-by-step -step process for editing your videos. It's the ultimate process for creating your videos faster without all the unnecessary rework and double handling that I've seen chew up a ton of time for my clients and students over the years. Just hit the link inside the video or just below in the description and download it now. I'll see you next time.